Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at how to transfer everything from your existing phone to your brand new phone. And this is a brand new iPhone 17. Haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So let me just pull off security labels and we'll get it out and get started. Okay, so this is how the phone comes directly from Apple. So it's got a bit of protective cover on here. I'm going to pull this off. This is one of the most satisfying things in the world. Oh, look at that. Oh, a virgin phone. Fantastic. And this is what you get in the box if you're interested. Uh, it's cable and the pin for the SIM card. So let's switch it on because Apple phones do come with some charge. So you don't need to charge it up first. Let's put this one on. Okay, let's see where we've got to. I'll wait for this one to start up. Let me just take this off for a second. Here we go. Swipe to open. I'm going to select language, obviously English for me. So I'll pick English. Country of origin, it's UK for me. So let's scroll down. United Kingdom. Okay, setting the language. Basically the same language as the United States, but slightly different, I guess. Some nuances. Okay, appearance. How would you like text and icons to look at the phone? I'm just going to go for default for this to keep it simple. Quick phone setup. Yep, looking for nearby devices. There we go. Here's my nearby. Ah, here we go. So on my existing phone, it's now come up. Set up new iPhone. Continue. Oh, sorry, I've got to do my face ID. Okay, now. now it comes up and it says hold your new camera iPhone to your camera. So you've got this circle here. So you have to align this circle with the spinning globe on that one. So let's do that. So position the pattern in the circle. Okay, if I could find it, I would. Let me just, where is it? Oh, there we go. All right, position that in there. Okay, done that. Okay. That's the two phones, so who you've had setting this for? Me, Joe, so get started. So enter passcode of your other iPhone. So I'm going to do that just off screen. So obviously I don't want to give away my password. Okay, now it's setting up after I've put that in. Remove these two tabs I ripped off earlier this box away this it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone and then keep this iPhone near to your new iPhone while the information is transferred so the great thing about when you do this is that everything that's on your existing phone will just go straight over to your new phone you won't have to download all of the apps and do everything that you need to do all your contacts everything is just going to go magically from your old phone to your new phone set up mobile service I will do that later so Face ID, it's now asking me for Face ID, so I'll do that, continue. So I have to do a 3D rotation of my face, one of these things, so I'll do that, get started. So there's my face, position in the frame, and now I've got to move my head completely in a circle to fill in all the green lines that are there, so I've now done that. So um, now it's asking me if I want to set it up with a mask, obviously dating back to the COVID period, don't need to do that. So don't use Face ID with a mask. Face ID is now set up, that's good. Data transfer from phone, continue. So I want all of the data that's on this phone to go over to this phone. So these two phones are now communicating with each other. Let's keep that screen on just so we can see what's happening. Keep it simple. Okay, I'm now signing in. I agree to all the terms and conditions as always. Always agree to all the Apple terms and conditions. As you can see, I read them very thoroughly before I agreed to that. Obviously, very important to read the terms and conditions. And now this is going to take a little bit of time. So we'll just jump forward. Make this your new iPhone. Yes, continue. Location services, turn location services on. Yes, always like to know where I am. Always good to have Google Maps, things like that. Always handy. Also, if you lose your phone, you can usually find it. So now I have to add my credit cards that are all on the Apple Pay on this phone onto this new phone. 
I agree to the terms and conditions. That card's now been added. I need to get a text message to verify the card. So I'll just confirm that. I've got another card. I'll add that card later. You're running out of iCloud storage. Not now. It's always trying to charge me more money for more storage. iPhone analytics. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm happy to share that. Um, share that with app developers. Happy to do that. Apple intelligence. Intelligence understands your personal context. Wi-Fi powered. Yeah, I'll set that up later. Camera control. Quick camera controls. Open a camera. Continue. This is just telling me how the camera control works. Continue. Okay. Siri. Just say Siri. I'll do continue. Select the voice. Let's hear the voices. The colours of the sky fade with the setting. Lady. The colours of the sky fade. Oh, don't like him. The colours of the sky fade. Oh no, a bit too northern. The colours of the sky fade. I like number one. I'll have number one. Thank you. Emergency SOS phone is ready in an emergency. Okay. Now it's transferring the data from this phone to this phone. So it's probably going to take quite a while. So I think I will skip forward on this section. Okay, so here we are around half an hour later. That's how long it took to transfer all of my data. My original phone says device added to your account. iPhone has access to iMessage and FaceTime, so that's okay. Transfer complete, and then this phone switched itself off. But you can see that magically now, the screensaver that was on there is now on here. So this is saying hello, so let's open this. I'll just do my code. Right, it's now saying restore complete apps and data will continue downloading in the background. So let's press continue on this and continue on this. Welcome to iOS 26. Yeah, personalized iPhone with new look for icons. Focus on what matters with liquid glass controls. Continue access menu options. Searches within reach. So continue with that and get started. So basically now all of these apps are downloading so it has to obviously fully update all of the apps but essentially this phone is now what was previously this phone. So everything has now been transferred for my new iPhone 17. It's asking me if I want to erase this phone. Uh, I'll probably hold off on that for the moment just because I want to make sure that everything has gone over okay. Never erase anything until you're absolutely sure that uh, it's all been moved. You don't want to lose that data. It says, use this iPhone when sharing your location. Yes, use that. Okay, so the one thing that I need to do now that everything is in the process of transferring over is to change my SIM card over. So let's remove the SIM card from the old phone. So we'll just, sorry, let's, so we need the pin to do this. So you have to pop out the section with the SIM card in it. So I just press the pin in, SIM card has now fallen out and then use this same pin to open the SIM card holder on my new phone. There we go. Then I need to place this SIM card. It's quite tricky to pick up. Place this SIM card into the holder here. So the right way around. So there we go, wrong way around. There's a bit of a cutout on it, so you can feel when it's correct. So that's nice and flat. Let us put that into the new iPhone. Okay, so that's gone in there now. The SIM card is now in my new phone. So the SIM card is now in my new phone. You can see there's a tiny bit of service here. So if I just press one, two, one, which is the number for my voicemail, then that's calling now. So basically, that is the phone transferred as well as all of the apps and the data. So I'll just stop that there. So that is how to transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone. So thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. Hopefully it's been useful. Hopefully it will help you get everything to go smoothly from old phone to new phone as I have just done. If you've liked what I've said, then please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you again on the next video.